Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do another update here on my KO2 tires. It's been a while since I've done one. So we're going to start on the inside. I'm going to show you very quickly that the mileage on here, hopefully you can see that, is 28,418. I'll bend this up and try to get it closer. Okay, so hopefully you can read that. It's 28,000. 418 so that's the current mileage as of today okay so just so you know that today is uh wednesday september the 28th 2016 so let's go ahead and do this review okay so to start this review i'm starting with the front right tire and i've got you kind of back here in the back because of the sun that I want to kind of keep this video out of it if I possibly can and we'll do these in a couple of places in the center if you recall I have my trusty little depth gauge here uh, so we'll see what it shows us so punch it all the way down and we'll just start right here in the middle right with those two treads and hopefully this thing can see this but let me get it on where I can see it that will be most important probably Okay, so you can see in 30 seconds right there that that shows somewhere between 11 and 12. Right there it showed, well, really? i tell you what, for all intents and purposes, I think I see pretty much the line. So it's, it's pretty much on 11, mil, uh, 30 seconds, 11, 30 seconds up for here. So let's just go down to here, do another one, and let's see. Uh, yeah, pretty much exactly the same right there's the 11 and hopefully you can see that I don't know if you can or not but Hopefully that can focus Somewhere and it's on 1130 seconds. So the front right tire has 1130 seconds tread as of today So let's move on to the back right one and check it out Okay, so same thing Got the tread depth all the way down here. We just start at the top right here in the middle Go right in between those two and let's look at this together and see what we've got. Uh, let's see. Yep. Dead on 11 as well. Like I said, I'm hoping you can see that. So let's go ahead and we'll do one down here. Just see what that shows. And yeah, 11 as well. So those two are, are matched up perfectly on the right hand side. So again, this was the right rear, which is to the right front a minute ago. Uh, sorry for the phone noise there, but anyhow, it's uh, it's 11:30 seconds so far. So let's go to the other side and start looking at those. Okay, so now I've moved around to the back left tire. Let's just go up here at the top in the middle, and let's look at this together. And all these 30 seconds, there's there's 11, um, and there's the 12. So I'd have to call that just over 11, but before 12. So very close to the two, but this one has just slight more tread, at least right there. Let's go ahead and just punch it, say right between that, get in the center. And there it looks like to be pretty much dead on 11 like the other ones to me there. So yeah, so I think I would call that 11. I'll tell you what, to break the tie, I'll just go back here in the middle. And... Yeah, definitely 11. So, yeah, I'd say the one's just a fluke that so far all three are 11.30 seconds. Uh, wearing pretty good with that mileage. So, let's go look at the last one, which is the front left. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the front left tire, the last tire. And again, we'll just start right up here at the top dead center. And let's look at this together if we can. And I'd say it's pretty much dead on 11 as well. There's the 12 you can see above it, but it's dead on that 11. So here, let's just do down here so you can see that one. And yeah, that one shows a little, a hair below 11 actually. But above 10. So it's very close to 11. So here again, to break that tie, let's go back here. Right dead center again. And again, just a hair below 11. So this one actually is wearing a little bit different than that. Um, 
just I mean just a little bit more than the other three not much but a little bit so there is a little more wear it seems like on this one which these these were rotated probably three weeks ago I also had this aligned um, it does have a bounce in it I will tell you that I'm not sure if it's from the tires I had them I took them back I had them balanced uh, they claim that they're they were in good shape they being discount tire again as like three weeks ago um, so I'm not sure what's causing the bounce could be something else you know more or less the tires were wearing evenly except this one's just a little under 11 30 seconds so we'll see what's happening there okay so the last thing I wanted to point out in this particular video this is the back left tire that you're looking at and I don't even know if this video is picking it up because it's hard for me to see there but there's a slight thin crack if you will a cut starts right there comes down goes right down along here and stops right there so it's um you know it's definitely better than an inch long maybe an inch and a half I'd say something like that but like I said if you can see if you look between these two O's and go to right there that's where it starts at the bottom it goes up it goes right through this line across here and right up to literally right there it's just to the left of this tread depth gauge so it's very thin but there is that crack in it already not uh, sure if a rock or or what caused that but just wanted to point it out for the for the video and for history's sake um, other than that I mean you can see there's really no real chunking or anything going on right now so you know so far the report is definitely good uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you if you have uh, give it a thumbs up share it leave me a comment uh, tell me about your experience if you have these tires and uh, I'll try to update them again on down the road and, and we'll just keep watching their life here. Thanks for watching. Bye now.